Okay, so welcome back to part 3 of the video. So if you have tried it out, you will realize that for this example, the current is going from the floor to the ceiling and you should be using a dot to represent it on your worksheet. If you apply your Fleming's right hand rule correctly, this is what you will see as if your finger are curling around the imaginary wire and you will see that the direction of the magnetic field line are going anti-clockwise. So uh, use a compass to draw and as you can see, if you use just two ring, it's actually quite difficult for the teacher to tell whether you are aware that the gap is actually getting bigger or smaller. So usually I advise my student to draw three rings so that the teacher can see very clearly that there's evidence that you are aware that the field strength is actually getting weaker as you move away from the wire. Now since now we know uh, how the magnetic field uh, looks like when there is a singular wire, uh, remember uh, at the beginning of this video I share with you that why is it interesting to study electromagnetism is because we can turn on and off the magnetic effect at will and why is this interesting is because when you have more than one magnetic field the magnetic fields will interact so this word interact will appear very often the two magnetic fields will interact when you have two objects uh, each producing magnetic effect when you put them near to each other their magnetic effect will interact with each other and that will produce uh, either a repulsive force or a attractive force and these forces allows you to manipulate the object uh, to accelerate it, to turn it, so on and so forth. So the next part of the video will focus on the interaction between two current carrying wire. So let's start with one. So let's say I have this current carrying wire. This current is going in which direction? Ceiling to floor or floor to ceiling? Three, two, one. Okay, it is going from ceiling to floor. That's why you will see a cross. And if you apply uh, and if you have more than one of these wires, so let's say I have one more wire that is next to this wire, the magnetic field will interact at this point, right? The magnetic field will interact at this point. So in this part of the video, we will be focusing on how can I deduce how this interaction will be? Will these two uh, current carrying wire attract each other or repel each other, right? How do I know uh, without memorizing? So first, we will analyze this wire first using our right hand grip rule and we can see that uh, the result is that this uh, magnetic field line will go clockwise or anti-clockwise, okay? Make a decision, uh. it will go this way, right? Correct? So it will go this way and then it will go this way, correct? So I'm done with the left wire, the wire on the left. Now I do the same thing to the right wire. So use your right hand grip rule. Okay, how will the direction of this magnetic field line looks like? It will be this way, right? Clockwise, right? So it will go like that. Uh, it will go like this go here and finally like that. So at this point of interaction, let's say this point here, if I were to draw the direction of the magnetic field lines, the green one, if I were to draw this magnetic field line, I can see that the magnetic field line is actually in this direction because it's tangential to the curve, right? And if I do the same thing for the magnetic field line for the wire on the right hand side, the red color magnetic field line will have a direction at this point. So when you have a factor that goes up, interacting with a factor that goes down, the green one, what happens is that they will cancel each other, right? So that is exactly what happens. Uh, when you have this kind of interaction between two rings, right? What happens is that when these two rings converge, uh, when these two rings touch each other, that particular part of the ring will get cancelled away and it will form this kind of like hour shape kind of magnetic field pattern. So the outer ring will follow, there will be a dimple like that. Okay, now it looks like an hour, right? 
right and you can see that the magnetic field line uh, produced by the wire on the left and produced by the wire on the right now actually will merge into one bigger loop and we have learned from a previous chapter like electric field and all that your electric field strength the 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 denser the line the stronger it is and when when the line is more spread out the weaker it is right so of course this is a sketch if i do it on the computer this is the resulting uh fill line and you can see this part this is when the part whereby the fill line cancel out each other which leads to the ring to merge over here so if you look at the fill pattern right you can see that actually uh, the center part here is actually the weaker uh, you have a, a, a lower concentration of the fuel line and the, the area here has a high concentration of fuel line and because of that right the fuel strength on uh, maybe I use a different color the fuel strength the pink in the pink region is actually stronger than the fuel strength in the green region and as a result there will be a force that will press these two wires onto each other right so in essence we learned that when you have two current carrying wire and they are traveling in the same direction right their, com their combined magnetic effect will actually cause them to be pushed into each other in another word they will attract each other okay now what is tested do you need to be able to wow, explain how the fuel line cancels out each other at the point of interaction and therefore blah 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 no need what you need is that you should be able to reproduce this fuel pattern okay and you should remember and know that when the current of two wires are in the same direction in this case from ceiling to the floor the interaction will produce an attractive force on each of them and they will attract each other now if now i call this wire a and this wire b i can then describe this force as a force on a because this force acts on a right and it is produced by b so this force we can call it a b and if you look at this force it is a force acting on b and it is produced by a right because a pulls b towards it right so that's why we say it produced by a right so we can call this force f b a do you remember what you learned in newton's third law yes these two are actually action reaction pair and they fulfill all the criteria they will have the same strength right so we know that this force these two force will have the same strength and these two force will have opposite direction and obviously you can see that this force acts on a and this force acts on B so that means they act on different object and that's why they fulfill all criteria for action reaction pair okay just for the note taking uh, this statement that I make if you want to write it out the full form it means that this force F acts on A right right this force this force here right the black one uh, the yellow under the yellow highlighter x on a right and it is and this force is actually pulling a towards b right so we say that this force x on a and it is produced by b right so this is what we mean by f on a by b okay okay now similarly uh now we know that uh, when you have a wire that have the current moving in the same direction the magnetic effect will interact right? maybe i write down okay how to explain uh. so we say that the magnetic effect right of the wires they will interact and when 
they interact, they will produce a attractive force, right? So now that we know same direction of current is attractive, what do you think when you have different opposite direction? Right now, wire X has a current going from ceiling to floor. Uh, wire Y has a current going from floor to ceiling. Right? How will they interact? Well, uh, I can crop this and I put it next to each other. Right? So now, uh, this part here, I have a current that is opposite. Right? I use my right hand grip rule. And I realize that it is like this. Then I use the green one for this. So now can you see that the point at the point of interaction, which is this part over here, the vector actually are in the same direction, right? And when you have few lines that is going in the same direction, what will they do? They will repel each other, right? So what happens is that you will form a field pattern that looks like that. And you can see that this pink color part of the field pattern, compared to this part of the field pattern, the pink one has a stronger strength compared to the yellow one, which is a weaker strength. So we say that as a result, the resulting interaction will produce a repulsive force right so if i want to name this force this will be what f x y or y x f x on y produced by x this one will be f x on x produced by y right so that is the gist of the third part of the video okay First part, I recap, uh, we learn about sign convention, how to extend what we learn from magnetism to electromagnetism. Second part of the video, we learn that one wire carrying, a uh, one current carrying wire produce a circular magnetic field pattern and we make use of the right hand grip rule to deduce the direction of this circular magnetic field pattern. In the third video, we learn about how two magnetic field pattern will interact and form a resulting magnetic field pattern that will produce either an attractive force in this case or a repulsive force in this case. So in summary, the gist of it is when the car the wire will uh when the current is flowing in the same direction, we say that the wire will attract each other. And when the current is flowing in opposite direction, they will repel each other. So how to memorize this? I always tell my uh, student, when you have a friend that have similar mindset, chances are you all will move in the same direction and you will attract each other when you have similar mindset right but if you have different mindset then what happened is that you will move away correct or not yeah when you have very opposite personality or mindset you don't tend to get along right so you go your separate way you repel right uh, in case you do not know the perspective I'm drawing, this is like a road, you know? They say, right, life is like a road, okay? So if your mindset is similar, you find someone with similar mindset, then you will tend, your personality match, you will tend to attract each other. Then next time you marry each other, then happily ever after. But if your friend and you have very opposite mindset, you will repel, okay? Similar to the current and the forces. Okay or not? Okay, in the next video, I will be sharing with you uh, some of the hints in doing your homework. So if you don't want the hints, you can skip the video and you can try it out and complete it until your page 6. If you are not so confident uh, or, or after you try, 
okay then you watch part four of the video okay can uh in part four of the video i won't be covering d uh, because d is to just check that you can reproduce this pattern and this pattern with very few mistakes okay don't draw so many lines three to five for the boys i suggest uh, the less you draw the less you make mistake okay for the girls who are more artistic also some boys who are artistic okay okay i should i learned from my mistake i should be gender equality i shouldn't say boys or girls for those who are more artistic draw five for those who are more in the chaotic style okay use three lines okay can ah uh, then please do the rest of the thing after you do check video four